the chair should always ensure that debate and discussion of an agenda item focuses on the item and the policy in question, not the personalities of the member of the body. Debate on policy, policy is healthy. Debate on personalities is not. The chair has the right to cut off discussion that is too personal, too loud, or too crude. Rosenberg's rules also emphasizes that it's always best for only one person at a time to have the floor, for every speaker to first be recognized by the chair before proceeding to speak. And in the interest of time, the chair may limit the time allotted to speakers. We are, we are going to and will continue to have contentious issues come before this board. We need to, all, all of us, need to be able to um, disagree in a civil fashion and not be personal. I absolutely agree with that. Um, I, but on the same token, by the same token, we do want to encourage input for this board. We just need to make sure that we do it focusing on the subject and not on the personalities. And so thank you, Josh. The whole exchange was ignored in the record. You are not being fair according to, I believe, the Brown Act. Stephen, and we're going to have to explore this, but I... Stephen, I your letters, your they, letters okay, were forwarded to the Justin, board. you're interrupting me, and I want you to recognize Stephen, that. sorry, I'm the chair. I'm interacting with you. I'm, I'm answering your, the concerns that you brought up. It, so usually, you're, you're letters, excuse me, usually it's... It, usually it's... it's I I again, and speak. that is exactly what is not inappropriate. It's, what is inappropriate it's against well. the Brown Act. Site, against Linda, the please, please present the board with with the with, with your part of the I Brown Act. I'm happy to. So, Stephen, answer your questions. I, okay. The, the uh, can board. You just hold on for a second. I Stephen, think the the, you, the way that the, the this this procedure works is I speak for a period and then you respond for a period. You don't interrupt me while I'm talking and I don't interrupt you while Stephen, you're talking. Does that seem like a reasonable process to you? Your letters were forwarded to the board, so your, you, your communication was not impeded to the board. Your subject matter was not on our agenda. It, it's, there is nothing new that has been brought up that has any relevancy to it, so that's why it's not on our agenda. That's why it was not included in our board packet. And, and um, what was your third issue? Brown Act provides that the legislative body shall not prohibit a member of the public from criticizing the policies, procedures, programs, or services of the agency or of the acts or omissions of the legislative body. 54954.3c. Public meetings of governmental bodies have been found to be limited public fora. As such, members of the public have broad constitutional rights to comment on any subject relating to the business of the governmental body dialogue. Government Code Section 54954.3a. Every agenda for regular meetings shall provide an opportunity for members of the public to directly address the legislative body on any item of interest to the public before or during the legislative body's consideration of the item. I don't understand why our uh, safety services aren't configured to our actual needs. Uh, I, I guess it's union rules, but I'd like to see more ambulances and more strategic fire uh, engines. But I guess that has to be a conversation with you guys. I'm sure you have thoughts on it. Conversation with which guys? The fire service. I, I don't understand. I don't understand why we we uh, have our services this way. It just does not make sense. Well, if you have a heart attack, you'll understand. No, no. Hang on for a second. No, no. Let's not. Let's just stay focused on the agenda. I'm not. Well.